Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how I have created this construction dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is a ready to use dashboard and you can easily plug in your data. You just need to refresh the date dashboard and automatically it will show whole data. Now this is the overview page of this construction dashboard wherein we are showing the total number of projects. So we have taken here 500 projects. This has been created on the basis of some dummy data. You can input your original data here. Then we are showing the total budget of these 500 projects and this is the total cost and the safety incident. Then we are showing the cumulative percentage of all the project. So that is average progress for all the project is 56.3. Here we are showing the number of project by the project type. So we have different project type like industrial, commercial, infrastructure or the residential. So we have taken four type of projects here. And you can see that here we are showing the number of project by the month. So you can see the month on month projects also and number of project by region. So we have taken here five region and number of project by the different phase. So you can see how many project are in which phase. And then here we are showing on the right hand side different slices so that you can filter your data. For example, I want to see the commercial projects only. Just click on that and you can see all information is changed. Industrial or you can take infrastructure, residential or you can take let's say region wise for any specific region okay so as you want you can just filter that data now next page which we have created on the left hand side we have a navigation pan so you can quickly go to the next page which is budget and cost analysis just click on that so it has taken to the budget versus cost analysis here we are showing the budget versus cost by the department so you can easily see by the department this is budget versus cost by the region and this is budget versus cost by the project type you can further see the uh, detail let's say i am selecting a particular project type so you can see by department and by region also or i am selecting a phase let's say i am in design phase finishing phase or any other phase so automatically the whole page will be filtered now let's go to the progress monitoring also so here we are showing the progress monitoring so basically we are showing the cumulative progress percentage this is by phase and this is by region this is by project type and this is by department again you can use the slicer to filter the data as you want okay you can easily filter that data now i will show you the next page which is the contractor and department inside here we are showing the top seven contractor by the number of projects so we can see on for this particular contractor we have 17 project then here 16 then some other so the, they are top seven now here we are showing the number of project by department and here we are showing the total budget by top seven contractor again you can filter the data as you want let's say i want to see the commercial projects only or i want to see the industrial projects only I want to see the infrastructure or residential so you can easily see that and accordingly it will give you the top seven contractor detail now the last one is the safety and risk monitoring so here we are showing the total safety incident by the department here total safety incident by region total safety incident by the project type okay so again you can filter the data as you want okay now this is what we just have created and then we will show you the data and the other support sheets also how you can update the new data and how you can refresh the dashboard so let's go to the file and options go to the advanced here and just scroll it down just click on show seed tab and just click on ok we can see all the seed tabs are appearing here then we have the data seed tab so in the data we are taking the project id project name project type phase region status department contractor then here we have the start date and estimated end date budget cost and then here we have put a formula whether this is within budget or out of over the budget this is progress percentage and safety incident and we have created here two formulas that is month and year all right 
So this is what we have in the data. You can simply add your new data or you can delete this data. Just keep the headers only and just put your data in the same format. The header should remain same. And after pasting your data, just go to the data tab and here you can just click on refresh all. Whole dashboard will be refreshed. Every page will show the latest data. Now I will show you the support sheet also. On the basis of this, this is a table. You can see in the table design, this name is data. And on the basis of this, we have created few support pivot table. Okay. And here we have created this some extra information also we have just put equal to this one so this is what we have created to create the battery chart okay and here we are showing some other information and when we are moving to the next page so we have put here a line and we have highlighted that is for the budget versus cost analysis page so these all pivots are for budget versus cost analysis this is for the overview you can see and as we are moving right, this is for the progress monitoring. Okay. And now here we have the contractor and department insights. And this is safety and risk monitoring. All right. So that is how we have created the all pivot. And they are normal pivots. Like you can see department wise number of project. We have taken the project ID here. This is contractor wise number of project. Okay. And similarly, if I come here, you can see this is the region wise total budget cost here we have taken. Okay. Now I will show you how we have created the charts also. So let me show you first how we can create this type of card. So let me add a one seat here and this is the seat one you can see. And once you have created the pivot table, if you want to learn how we can create the pivot table from a table. You can join our Udemy course. We have given the link in the video description box. In the course, you can learn how we can create the various type of pivot table step by step. We have also explained how you can create the advanced level of chart like wet or the filling circle chart or some other chart. We have explained a lot of charts there and how you can create this type of dashboard also. Inside that course, you will get the practice file also so that you can practice with the course together. Okay. Now I will show you a couple of charts, how you can create, like how you can create this type of cards. So what you need to do, just go to the view and remove the grid lines from here, from the new sheet. Then you can insert the normal rectangle. Let's say I'm taking this one and you can fill the color, whatever you want. So let's say I have taken this video color or we can take some lighter color like we have taken in the background. So let's say I'm taking this lighter color. Okay. Now to create the card, you just need to insert the another rectangle. So let's say this one and just drag that here. Then you just need to fill here white color. So we have taken white color and the outline you can take blue outline and go to the bait and take the half point okay now to create the card like we have created here we have given some shadow also so you can select this go to the save format and shadow here in the safe effects and you can choose this shadow which is offset center okay then just go to the insert again and you need to insert a text box so just drag that text box here click on the outline of that text box go to the formula bar press equal to then you need to go to the support sheet. So here we have the pivots for overview. So let's say I want to show the total budget. So I can just click on this H3. So it will take the heading and let's put this heading here. Then go to the save format, save outline, choose as no outline, save fill as no fill and align this center, make this bold and you can change the color also. Let's say I'm taking this blue color. Okay. Now, you can just make the copy of this and paste that here and let us put this here and this time we will connect with h4 if i come here you can see h4 is this one okay actual number so let's take here h4 and enter now you can make this bigger and if you want to change the font also let's take here arial rounded empty bold and take the th same theme color or slightly darker okay so that is how we have created these type of cards which are appearing here or you can change the color or font color as you want and they can be connected with the slicer so for example let me insert here a slicer insert and take the slicer make sure you have selected the pivot 
let's say I'm taking the project type and let's cut this slicer from here cut control X and paste it here you can change the slicer setting from here let's say I'm taking this one slicer style and just click you can see this is getting changed if I remove the filter then I can see the total budget if I select any project type I am seeing the budget for that project type so this is totally dynamic so that is how we have created this dashboard and we have created this design using the various rectangle this is currently protected however you can go to the review and just say unprotect then there is no password there so it will not ask for any password and it is unprotected so you can see this is the separate rectangle and this is in the back end it is separate rectangle and then this is the another text box with some rectangle and we have created the hyperlink here just right click and right click and go to a link or press ctrl k then you can see it is connected with overview okay and similarly if i press here ctrl k this is connected with the budget and cost all right friend so that is how we have created this if you want to learn more about the battery chart and some other infographics chart which we have created here you can join our course we have explained each and everything in detail along with the practice file also so you will get the practice file for every chart every dashboard or every keyword there okay and you can practice with me inside the course all right friends so friends that's it in this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching